Good day guys, welcome to another tutorial on STS201. The, today we are treating correlation and regression. Yeah, correlation and regression. <laughs> Congression and relation, just like someone would always tell me. <laughs> okay, so correlation and regression is first and foremost let's let's start with correlation. Now correlation is just a tool it is a tool in statistics used to measure the relationship between two variables take variable x and y we are trying to measure the relationship between these two variables whether they are positively related or whether they are negatively related then we are carrying out correlation and it measures the 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 strength number one the strength of the relationship and as well as the relationship like take for example this this scattered plot scattered diagram uh, if i'm trying to measure the relationship number one you notice that they all go they are they are all ascending like this it means they have a positive relationship number one and the strength how close they are together also can be determined by correlation now you guys don't really need much here what you need to know is the formula r correlation is represented by a variable called uh, a, a letter called r and it takes from positive one to negative one so any if you find the correlation between any two variables between any two variables and you get positive plus one that means the variable is perfectly they are, they are the relationship between them are perfectly positive is perfectly positive that's starting from 0 0.1 to plus 1 and a perfectly negative relation relationship as starting from minus 0 9 to minus 1 minus 0 0.9 to minus 1 okay now how do you solve for correlation how do you get the correlation between any two variable and it is actually simple this is the formula you guys need to know r square equals to n summation x y minus summation x summation y all over square root n summation x square minus summation x all square multiplied by n summation y squared minus summation y all squared okay once you already know this now first and foremost this one is the one is the Pearson's method yeah for the Spearman rule this is the Pearson Pearson's correlation coefficient okay now how do you use this in solving the relationship between any two variables so take for example x and y I'm not going to solve it per se, I'm just going to teach you how to solve it then let's assume this is x and this is y we are told to find the correlation between these two variables now based on the formula you are going to check what you need now you need summation x so that means you have to sum so you have to get the summation x here you have to also get the summation y addition of everything here okay now you also need you also need x square summation x square so that means you have to square x 9 16 25 you have to square x then you sum it you find the value you also have to square y because you need it y square so that's 25 16 9 4 1 2 
after that you also sum it you get y and the n is just the number of the variables one two three four five you have five of them so whatever you get after summing this after summing this summing summing this so and also yes the last one you need is the x y because you have summation x y a okay now so you have to multiply them this is 5 x y this is 8 x y this is 9 x y this is 8 this is 5 so you also sum this one so summation x whatever you have here takes so whatever you have as summation x y takes the value of what you have here. so this needs to be 5 the value of summation x y minus the value of summation x times the value of summation y that's when you've done it all over the square root because that's how you're going to do it and so n is still 5 open bracket the value of summation x x square this x square the value of summation x square you multiply it minus the value of summation x but all square you're going to square the value of summation x now you do the same thing for that of y and you get the value that's just that's just it it is it is very simple it's not difficult at all it's not difficult okay now for for regression regression is a linear equation that that gets that that can be used to represent this line if you are trying to find a linear equation that can represent this uh, scatter diagram then we are talking of regression so regression is just finding a linear equation to what you have on the graph there and it still it's you it uses the knowledge of a linear equation which is y equals to mx plus c and let's keep it in a way that you guys would relate very well with that's y equals bx plus a or let's see y equals to a plus bx well still the same thing still the same thing now the first question is how do you calculate b now to calculate b you have to know the formula summation n summation x y minus summation x summation y all over n summation x square minus summation x all square this is the formula with which you are going to use to calculate b the b here is the slope and how do you calculate a a is calculated using summation y all over n minus b summation x all over n so these are the formulas that you need to know if you know the formula you are good to go if you know the formula you are good to go so the same thing still applies the same idea that applies here still applies so here you need x x y so if you're doing for this will be, will be five summation x y summation x y is what you get when you had everything for this place when you had everything all true you get you put it here summation x y minus what you get when you had the summation x when you add for x that will be the summation x multiply by what you get when you do that of y that will be summation y all over n which is 5 summation x square what when you had everything here whatever you get to be summation x squared minus summation x whatever you get from here all squared so you get for b that way and how do you get for a once you already know b you can use it to get a and a is a equals summation x summation y add everything up here all over n minus whatever you get from b that means you need to first calculate b b times summation x for this one 
summation x you put it the value there all over the n the n is still the five the same five so whatever you get you get the value for a you get the value for b you will now put it in that equation y equals to a plus b x whatever a is put it as a whatever b is put it as b and that way we've calculated the you've gotten the linear equation that would help in getting that would help in getting the positions of all this in the graph so the linear equation that can represent this perfectly with giving the fact that you have error error bar yeah so this is you'd have gotten it with this so that's just that for correlation and regression it's very simple and straightforward thank you i remain a last sign the fit bye